Welcome back to our three acre property greenhouse. We are down at our 52 foot build we just completed. We got our first layer on here and we had a huge rainstorm today. So we spent some time today inside the greenhouse working and we built ourselves a nice mesh bench and we're gonna talk about that today. But we also installed our actuator to open and close our greenhouse window on its own. This little actuator is controlled by wax inside that reacts to heat and it starts to expand and push this rod out, thus opening the door, giving us nice good ventilation when we got both of our doors open here. When I was installing this, I wanted my black pipe to be at the very top, my cylinder that holds the wax, because this is going to be the hottest part of our greenhouse. So once that reaches the right temperature, I want this to start opening and thus cooling the rest of our greenhouse and allowing our plants to survive here. We need to start planting out. We have our first layer on and we got our doors on. We've got our window actuator. We are ready to plant. So I wanted to show our mesh bench. This bench is going to help us so much because we will not be having to scrape soil off of it. The soil will fall right through this. I have all this here. You can see how it just spills right through. This is just soil out of our greenhouse. We've got some seeds. We are going to plant some seed. I've got a couple plants up here just as a representation of what we'll be doing on our bench. I've got some of our green sorrel here. You can see it's got some good tap roots. We're going to plug a few pieces in here. I want to talk about our greenhouse because we did a little bit of work inside the greenhouse today also aside from just our little bench here which is nice and sturdy and we pinched all of this mesh down with the wood caps in order to hold it all very very tight and it won't pop up loose and poke a hole in our greenhouse poly so I just threw an extra scrap layer of poly back behind it and buried it in and tucked it on the top in order to catch all of the extra loose soil I'll be throwing compost in here and just using this space down here for storage and all types of stuff. I wanted that extra layer of protection back there in order to keep it from getting poked on. So in this entire greenhouse, we did a lot of work. We excavated our entire walkway through the entire greenhouse. All 52 feet has been excavated. We just trenched everything off to the side in order to build up our beds. And we had a lot of rock. We found some good sized boulders. Just walking down to the south end here to look back at the entire greenhouse you can see that we had pushed a nice pathway off to the sides it's not a lot but we did a ton of work today excavating this out we've got our little berm here for our center point we we're having to run our wheelbarrow up over this so we built a nice little ramp here this is a very very solid build so far it was kind of flappy in the wind when we first put it up but we ended up getting it real tight we tightened it down we ended up having a serious storm hit us last night and that pretty well put it through its tests we got about two inches or more of rain in a matter of hours so it was downpouring we had a good amount of wind and it held its own this greenhouse was not shaking it was not rocking everything held up we had a little bit of flapping of loose spots but other than that I was very satisfied because I came down here and watched this at some of the worst bits of the storm last night to see really what would happen and this first layer is not the outer layer and the protective layer we still have to build another shell around this greenhouse in order to protect and create that second layer that we're gonna heat all winter. So we can continue to plant out and continually harvest all winter. We can feed our family of four and possibly have some extras to share and to sell. Wanted to bring an update on all of the stuff we were doing today because we got quite a bit accomplished. This is a picture perfect greenhouse bench. I didn't want it much longer. I only needed so much for planting and for scraping the dirt right through. And I can use some type of catchment system or recycling system or just let the dirt fall right to the ground. I do want to build a similar table next to this or possibly in this corner where we have all of our boulders sitting right now. I will build a nice table and that will be our propagation table and I will be able to have water and cuttings on that. So I hope everyone took a little something from this update on our greenhouse build here. Here. we're just getting underway and finally getting to work inside it and if anybody has any questions on anything we talked about today such as our pathway or our beds or either of our propagation tables our mesh table or the water table we're talking about don't forget to like share and subscribe it helps us out with that YouTube algorithm and it helps share all of our content and everything we're learning and trying to share with the world here 